Hi, I'm Rick Streaker. This Packard Academy training segment will focus on the effect of dirty filters on the furnace blower. Using our multimeter, we'll evaluate the performance of the furnace blower motor and the capacitor when they're operated with dirty filters in the furnace. Now we'll simulate the dirty filters by restricting air going into the inlet of the blower and we'll use a piece of cardboard to cover portions of that blower inlet to restrict the air flowing into the blower. As we restrict the air, we can determine performance of the motor strictly by measuring the amps. In free air, this motor is operating 3.2 amps. As I add restriction, the amps drop. With half of the inlet blocked, the motor operates at 2.5 amps. With the entire inlet blocked, the motor operates at 2.3 amps. As my filters become dirty, the amps on the motor will decrease, indicating that the motor is doing less work and operating inefficiently. But there's very little air coming out. As I remove the restriction, my amps go up. to determine the impact of dirty filters on the capacitor. First, we'll check the capacitor amps. At free air, starting at 0.54, by blocking the inlet to half, we have 0.67. With the inlet completely blocked, the capacitor amps are 0.71. So the capacitor amps increase as I restrict the airflow, as my filters become dirtier. Now to check the capacitor volts, Set your meter to AC volts with your probe. Connect one on one side of the capacitor, the other on the other. Initially, the capacitor volts are 313. As I simulate dirty filters and restrict the air, Coverage, my capacitor volts increase to 380. The capacitor volts for this motor are designated to be 370 volts. So we're now exceeding the capacitor voltage. As I completely restrict the air with dirty filters, my capacitor volts now exceed 400 which is a problem will cause premature failure of a 370 volt capacitor. Now you can plug these numbers into the formula 2653 times capacitor amps Take that amount divided by capacitor volts. That'll give you the capacitance actually going to the motor. But the important information to note is your capacitor volts are higher. And that can create a problem then. If you're seeing excessive failures with capacitors on the motors, it also indicates that your motor is operating inefficiently. Even though your, your uh, motor amps are lower, you'll create excessive heat in the motor because they are, are excessive excessively low because of the inefficient operation. Thank you. 
Thank you for visiting the Packard Academy. Please visit our website, www.packardonline.com, for additional training opportunities.